Just evolution, growth. You know, I think, you know, acting for as long as I have, you know, you start to develop, a, you know, um, an opinion of like how things go and you want to be, um, you know, even more creative, exercise different muscles, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's been um, very transformative over the years and doing something I've never done before and just what could I learn? How could I grow? That's what I did. The fact that you got to come in there and uh, disrupt something that was so uh, so solid, you know, and in the disruption you build something new. Uh, in our hero and also in myself as Damien, uh, that was probably the biggest gift. Being a part of this has just been an amazing experience. I'm so lucky that I'm able to be a part of it. And I always just want to say this has been such a wonderful experience. The Creed 3 family is wonderful. It's been so much fun. Everyone's been so nice to me in real life. These are the kindest, sweetest people. And they have learned American Sign Language to communicate with me on set. So I really feel like I am part of this family now, which has just been wonderful. It's been great. I just want to say that Amara is a deaf person in this film. And showing that shows that a lot of parents, you know, they may be hearing. But they sometimes, like Adonis and Bianca, they're not deaf themselves, but they still took the time to do this for their child, to learn sign language. They have an only daughter, Amara. It's not the easiest, but they learn to communicate with her because they love her. And that made me feel really touched by this film because so many kids that are deaf are raised in hearing families. And sometimes the hearing parents don't learn sign language. They don't take the time to do it. And it can be really hard for the deaf kid to grow out in that environment, to try to be educated, to try to learn, especially at not being able to go to a deaf school. A lot of deaf kids with hearing parents are mainstreamed. And so having this movie and real representation is just so inspiring for the deaf community. And I hope that this will inspire all other deaf kids because I want to help them to see that there's so much that they can do. And so this will be a real education experience. It was amazing because Mike's directing it, number one, you know, so it was really family, all family, like, no new director, no, no like, everybody, you know, all kin folks. so it's great. You know, you just got to sit back and, 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 and let people do their work, and what I, what I saw was um, a meticulous, hardworking director, very thoughtful, like I said, and very patient um, in the process, and... Um, and without ego too, you know what I'm saying? So that, like, it's hard to be a thoughtful person and egotistical, like those two. Somehow that don't go together, right? So he's a thoughtful person and it weighs on him more than any ego, you understand? And yeah, and, and hard work, unbelievable amount of hard work it takes to direct yourself in an epic film like this where you gotta stay in shape and be, you know, you can't even get rest, you gotta, you gotta study your fight, fight scenes and everything, so it was a hard work. So they're dealing with mending or not mending uh, a brother, a brother, a brotherliness, a brotherhood, right? So in the film, we'll let you know whether there was success or not. But you know that that's really what I hope you pull away from it. Um, like that structure of uh, love, in a sense, is what you know brotherliness, and that's what that is. And and seeing how you can repair or not those type of relationships. Just for such a long time, I've always looked at him from afar, like just in a, like I respect his career type of way, but to actually get a chance to work with him and um, see that he's an actor's director, I think that's the most important thing to say about his directing style. He's an actor's director. He knows what it's like to be in front of the camera. He knows what it's like to be in the trenches. Um, so he understands that we have to feel supported through our process. It's super intimate. Um, and he always creates that space to make sure you feel comfortable. Um, if you have any questions, if, if you feel like something's not working, he's always like, tell me, ask me, like, we can, we can talk about it. He, he works in a very collaborative way, um, which I think was awesome. And he's honestly one of my favorite directors I work with to date, genuinely. So I think he knocked it out of the park, home run. Um, 
And yeah, I really can't wait to work with him again and see what Mike does next just in the directorial space. I don't have a younger brother um, in real life. I have an older sister, but I have a lot of brothers from other mothers. <laughs> you know, like blood can make us closer. So um, the thing that I love portraying about Dame the most is just uh, capturing the, the, the fellowship and also uh, that, that, that brotherly love, you know, and it may look like it's, um, I think that's the, 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 the biggest thing that I, I enjoy portraying. I mean, TJ, who plays Young Adonis, he, he's awesome, and, and we definitely built that relationship, that bond, where he felt like I felt kind of protective over him in that way. Um, so, God, I think that was, I think that's one that's, like, yearned for. It, it, it's just showing, like, two friends, you know, uh, the fellowship, the camaraderie, the brotherhood. Um, that was one of my favorite themes are one of my favorite feelings to portray within Dame and the dynamic of Adonis and, and, and young Dame, yeah. They put me on the on the De La Hoya regimen. That's a, <laughs> they, they wanted me to look like Oscar. <laughs> um, but nothing too, a lot of running, a lot of jogging, you know, five and five and um, watching what I'm eating, throwing a lot of punches. Um, nothing too special, special to me because it was the first time, but just a lot of hard work. <laughs>